Alright guys, welcome to another vlog of mine. So today's vlog is going to be another travel vlog for another holiday. It's been a little while since I last filmed a video on this channel, I know that, but uh, I'm finally getting around to filming another one of these vlogs because uh, once again, again, as I said, going on holiday. So I'll be going back on holiday. If any of you tuned in to my channel last year, I uh, may know that I went to the Talakland Railway in Wales. And the part of this vlog is because I am going back again this year because we're going to attend the Audrey Extravaganza, Reverend Audrey, that is the honour of the gentleman who, of course, created Thomas and Friends. And of course, that the print just there is an indication from last year, which was, of course, what was called the mid Sodo Picnic, which is what we did when we were out there last year. So I'll be travelling back out there again this year, uh, back out to Towin in Wales with the same three people that I went with last year, these being Usual Block Luke, uh, from, of course, has his own channel base on there, Robin, who also featured in my Doncaster Model Railway exhibit vlog, uh, also known as the Mechanical Shed, and of course our other good friend Jack. So the four, the three of us, are, as are the four of us, are going to be back in town again. But this time we're going to be staying for a week rather than a weekend like we stayed last year. Because last year we just stayed for a weekend, we did the event, and then we came back on the Monday. Whereas this time around we're going to stay for a full week, and we're going to go and also visit other railways in the area as well this time around. So we're going to visit the Talakalin Railway as we did last year. We're hoping to go back to another lecture and watch. Tim Dunn once again because uh, the day I'm filming this is actually the 21st of July and the event actually starts tomorrow on the 22nd and I'm preparing my travel out today. We were actually scheduled to arrive on the 22nd at uh, Towin. I was, I, was, I was originally scheduled to travel from here in Newcastle out to Towin and be out there no problem uh, to, to, tomorrow, more, to, to, tomorrow basically. Basically go out all out there tomorrow and be there tomorrow afternoon. However, of course, the RMT announced industrial action on the railway so that kind of screwed plans up a bit but uh, the outside we found out was that Transport for Wales who will be taking part of the journey out actually aren't a striking operator so what we're going to do what, what I'm going to be doing is travelling from Newcastle here to Birmingham and I'll be staying in a hotel overnight in Birmingham and then I'll be carrying on from Birmingham to Tawin tomorrow and then I'll be carrying out so hopefully I'll arrive even a little earlier as well so that's become a bit of a win-win regarding that but yeah I'm very much looking forward to going back out to Tawin again and seeing my, my friends from the last time again, because of course, apart from Robin, of course, I've seen him a couple of times because he's only in Doncaster, but uh, the other two, Jack and Luke, I've not had so much chance to actually see in public, like actually in person since last year's event, so it's going to be good to see those two again, and definitely just enjoy myself again, once again, and hopefully meet more uh, Railway Series fans, because of course that was what it was, Reverend Audrey created the Railway Series, and he based the Scar Louis Railway off Metalliclin Railway, as all of you, as well as you want to know, so, so basically Scar Louis from that is actually based off Metalliclin, the lead engine, Renias, uh, of course, is based off Dolgok, who is the engine featured on that one, who is back on the railway this year, because if anyone tuned in last year, that engine actually wasn't present on the line. But, of course, the one behind me there is uh, Edward Thomas, uh, which is the one on the lower on the picnic there. That one is named Edward Thomas, and um, will be painted up as Peter Sam, uh, or Stuart, as he was also featured in the series, and they also have Sir Hayden, who was uh, Sir Handel, and they also have a little diesel who is called Rusty in the, t in the railway series, so he'll be there as well. All these other engines that'll be there. I'm, as I said, I know Dolgok will be back. I'm not sure what the state with Teleclim was, whether he, whether or not that one's back or not, but there's a lot to look forward to, and I think there's plenty for me to bring along, and hopefully we'll get to enjoy ourselves once again. And as I said, once again, we'll get to meet Tim Dunn uh, for a second time this time around. Of course, Tim Dunn, the railway historian, you might recognise him from Secrets of the London Underground, the architects of the railway spell, or even if you just follow him on Instagram. As a, as in general, that's where you would see Tim Dunn. So there's a lot to look forward to, and as we said, plenty to just go out and enjoy. So let's go, let, let's prepare and let's start our journey. So I've just arrived at Newcastle station now and uh, the train right in front of me is gonna be the one that I'm gonna be traveling on. Uh, it's just arrived from Reading, so it'll be a little while before I can board, but I've just spoken to the guys who be the train manager that there's like little reservations on there as well, so I'll be able to jump on no problem. As you can see, now I've just turned itself off. But I'll be on this Voyager all the way to Birmingham. So it's gonna be a fun ride, I'd say, <laughs> to say the least, but uh, I'm just going to have to wait now until they say I can board, so that might just be a little bit of a wait, but hopefully I'll be able to get on, I can get a seat, and I'll be absolutely fine and comfortable all the way to Birmingham. So that's going to be fun.
Birmingham's there, so it's about a third of the way to Birmingham now. Uh, a lot more people got on at York as well, so it's starting to fill up a little bit, but we're making time along the way, we should be uh, there. We were delayed about a few minutes getting into York because of a uh, train stationary and a Zuma stationary between that and then we went ahead of it, then it went ahead of us. But we're ahead of the way now, so we'll be in Doncaster soon, and then we'll be continuing on towards Birmingham, so yeah, I'm just enjoying the comfy ride. So I'm in Birmingham now. I've just made it to my hotel. Uh, just an IBIS around the corner, just around, basically just around the corner from the station. I found the right place almost immediately, which is just a relief. So I'm just waiting to get my room key, and then following that, I'm hopefully going to go to the cinema. I think tonight. I think there's a there's a city world nearby. I think I'm going to go there and uh, uh, yeah, because there's two. Obviously, 21st of July. There is two <laughs> big releases today, and. Obviously one is a Bar Barbie movie, the other one is the Nolan film Oppenheimer. I'm going to go see one of them, which I want to just feel like seeing, I'll go and see. And then, uh, yeah, then come back here, go to bed, and then get ready for my train in the morning to carry on to Wales. So yeah, happy days. So it's the next morning now, and um, yeah, so just I've just been packing up, getting ready. Uh, it's just about quarter past nine now, uh, so I'm basically going to check out and then head on up to... Birmingham New Street Station and which I should hopefully be able to catch my train. It leaves about 10.20 but I'm hopefully trying to get there a little bit early so I can just go, and go to Starbucks, get some breakfast and some coffee because I didn't have breakfast included in my hotel there so I'm just going to quickly do that. I'm going to go there but I just had a car, just casual evening here in Birmingham last night. I just went to, just went to the cinema and just enjoyed myself there and then came back so that was alright for that. So yeah, it just, just was alright, it was all chill that. So uh, yeah, I'll be on the train shortly and then I'm hopefully going to meet Luke and Jack en route. Robin is actually further ahead than us and he's going to go to, he's going to get to the wharf ahead of the rest of us. So we'll all be there sort of in time and uh, we'll all be there as a group before we know it. So that there is my train, the 1022 to Aberystwyth and Clohaley. I probably pronounced that completely wrong, but that is my train that I'm going to be catching at 1022. Time currently now is 9.55, it's probably 9.29. So I've got about, I've got just under an hour to wait, but I've got here in plenty of time to travel. So it turns out that is the case here at Shrewsbury, so I'm just going around to platform 5, where my correct train will be, and hopefully, usual boat Luke will meet me there. Hopefully he's here already, and if that's the case, it's great news. Otherwise, I'm on my own until I meet Jack. So, just a quick temporary layover, get stretched, get my steps in, <laughs> and then make it the rest of the way. Oh. So I've just made my train change now, onto my uh, early train, and member number 2 has joined the crew. Luke, usual bloke Luke is on there. Subscribe, yeah. to, subscribe to his channel. If you haven't already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I've not, not seen Luke since last year's extravaganza. I've seen, as I said, I've seen Mechanical Shed Robin twice, or three times since, since he's an easy access for us to meet <laughs> compared, to, compared to what Luke is, because he yeah. lives in, he lives in where, where do you live, Luke? Up north. Up north. Well, sort of are, but he's on the opposite side of the north yeah, to me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, northeast, Newcastle, Blackpool. <laughs> so, yeah. 
yeah, it's a bit of a difference in time for that, so that works fine. But yeah, we're, we're ready to enjoy this extravaganza once again. Even though it's breaking the piss with rain, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, that's, 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 that's one of the more disappointing things about this, that it's just going to rain throughout the entire weekend. But we were prepared for that last time, so... Yeah, and we were prepared again this year, so... And we're staying for a full week this time, so it's going to be even more better. Funny how, it, like, it, 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 the summer cooks us alive throughout, like, the most... for, like, the beginning part of it. And then right when we're about to go on that holiday, it absolutely chucks it down. Aye. Well, I think it was when we went last year, because, of course, there was a massive heat wave in Britain oh, on, like, the Monday and Tuesday. Oh, it's like, the, the 40... that 40-degree heat wave. And when we were in Wales, you wouldn't have thought there was a 40-degree heat wave. No, you wouldn't. You, <laughs> no. wouldn't. you just wouldn't have thought. Not the state we were in. No, we were absolutely drenched in that. The way you described it when we came back from propaganda, from the restaurant Propaganda, that is Propaganda, which we're planning to go back to this year. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. We, we are going back to that. Yeah, absolutely. we got that. I'm planning to meet Tim Dunn tonight, so it's all there. Good times will be had by all. Anyway, we're on our way from Shrewsbury now, and we're going to get to see that signal box before we leave as well, so that's going to be a relief. But yeah, we'll just sit back and enjoy this journey. <laughs> yeah, um, um, may, it be smooth, may it be a smooth one. No, maybe not. <laughs> been on our side for this part of the journey because we have managed to get a table. Uh, this one was on the opposite side of the carriage to us, freed up, so now we're sat opposite each other. Just the camera. <laughs> so we've managed to free ourselves up on a table down here. So then that also works out for the best when Jack gets on board, he can join us at the table and we can all just sort of sit together as we carry on our journey the remainder of the way to Tallinn. And it's nice to admire these views, but it's a shame the rain has decided to come and spoil it for us all. But you think we'll enjoy it anyway? Yeah, I think we'll enjoy it, definitely. Yeah, so it'll come, it'll come for the best and we'll just make the most of it, really. We've all, we've all prepared for the rain, so that's a win-win. So, yeah, just a short while to go. I don't think we're going to get to McCunkley shortly where the train will split. And then Jack will join us at Dover Junction right afterwards. So, yes, yeah, so then we'll, get to, we'll be alongside the sea soon, so we're looking forward to that. <laughs> Welcome to the tree. Hello, where's oh, he's, Robin? He's in Wales already, apparently. Oh. Jack has joined us, so uh, we're nearly a trio again. We just got to meet Robin one more time, and then we're no, there. We are a trio. We're nearly, we're, we're nearly uh, a quad. A quartet. A quartet. There you go. Quartet. Yeah. So sorry, my bad. I get. I get. I, I speak English language. I get these wrongs all the time. Wait. <laughs> is that what quartet means? <laughs> quartet. Four, yeah. Four. Quartet. I, I, I thought it was something to just do with with Barbara singing. A barbershop quartet is yeah. a quartet of barbershop singers. Exactly that, yeah. But exactly what Jack describes it as. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just had an epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so we're just gonna really relax and enjoy the rest of this journey to Tawi. After that, yeah, and Luke can also have like a string of confusion. Quartet, can't <laughs> no, that, I think we're just gonna leave Luke in confusion for the rest even, of his walk. Even, even, even with my degree, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna sit back and enjoy the scenery. <laughs>
So we've just passed Abu Dhabi stop now and Tawan will be the next stop which will be arriving in about five minutes time. We've finally completed our journey and we'll be in the morning. I think we're all getting excited. Do you get excited Jack? I'm extremely excited. Yeah. And is Luke extremely excited? Ecstatic. Very yeah. ecstatic. Yeah. So we're all just getting ready there. So we'll hopefully get a shot of the railway as we go past seeing all the Audio Extravaganza fans. Excited to see the Audio Extravaganza. And we'll probably have to cart our suitcases around Talaklim for a bit before we go to our caravan Literally. to check in. But as I said, the train strikes came for a win-win. We got here earlier than we'd initially planned, so yeah. this one thing when it went in our favour, at least on the way out. <laughs> so we're at journey's end, and that is Tawin. We finally arrived earlier than intended, so off we get. The door's open, and we head towards the railway. We missed it, unfortunately, because we can't really get off. But we're here at the very remote station in the UK. Not the most remote, but Jack is ready because he got off the other door with his umbrella. With his umbrella. Ella, Ella. Ella. <laughs> and Luke's right behind us. And Luke's behind us. And we're heading just to get some stuff. And we're about to become I see, a, I see him. We're about to become our quartet as we spy the mechanical shit. It is steam posters reunited. There's, ha there's uh, Harry, there's usual blunt Luke, yeah. there's Jack, and here's the Mechanical Shed. <laughs> He's back. Mechanical Shed! Boom, boom. Anyway, so yeah, our train's just uh, here. We've just got off it. So we're going to go down to the Barrow Crossing, I think, down there, and cross the line to get back to the railway. Oh yeah, they did put